Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the map compiler for Pokemon Unity. If you have not already, please download the repository. Afterwards, open the folder known as Pokemon Unity. Now that Unity is open, we'll head on to Overworld Base. As you can see, this is a blank scene used to make worlds. Note you, there's no map right here. We're gonna make a map. Create a new game object, call it something like map. And now, we'll head on over to map creation, which is a folder inside of your project. These are the building blocks you use to create your map, mostly cliffs, stairs, water's edge, and shores. There are also textures you can use for these. For now, I'll be showing you how to make a basic map. Here's a quad. Right now the quad is not facing correctly. That is unacceptable. The map needs to be in the position 0, 0, 0 for the compilation to work correctly. I'm going to make this size 9 by size 9. Seems simple enough. Now, I'm going to add a cliff. Make sure to make your tiles even with the unity surface. Seems easy enough. That's the wrong direction. Now that the map is uh, halfway done, I'll show you how to apply the textures correctly. As you can see here, it's completely blank, set as a default material. We do not want that, so we'll be setting this to grass. Seems stretched out. So we're going to add a tile to scale script here. Set that to 32. And what that should do is make every tile uh, well, tiled. As Unity does not do that by default with the materials. With that said, we're going to also add the same texture to these. There's a texture here called Cliff Overlay. We'll set that to grass. On these two, it's set to black. We'll set that to grass as well. Now let's finish our map. I'll speed up the process. Now that we have an incline, let's add a surface above this. We're going to add another quad. As you can see, that's at zero. We don't want that at zero. We want that over here. Set this to 90. Now it's up here. Just set it to five. And then we just set the texture, which is grass one. Right, make sure to add the tell to scale as it is a quad being stretched out. If you have a normal quad that's just one tile, then you don't need this script. Now that all of our uh, map geometry is finished, we're going to add the uh, scripts. You'll need a map compiler, or map collider, sorry, a map settings, 
and the rest will be generated by this process. The process is as follows. Click on PK Unity at the top and click Compile Selective Mesh. Then added a mesh filter and a mesh glider. You can see that the mesh is actually showing here for me. Seems snazzy. Now, we're going to add background music. Initially, you'll just see a bunch of Pokemon cries. We don't want that. So let's scroll down until we find the song. Champions Road? Seems easy enough. And let's give it a name. I'm going to call it Testy Land. Now, let's make it an introduction banner. Map. Uh, it seems a bit grassy. I'm going to give it a leaf texture instead. Now, as there's no grass here, there's not going to be any Pokemon. So that we're not going to program anything for that as of right now. Map name color, we're going to stick to black. And let's test out the map. say we wanted to make this a staircase instead. What we want to do is we want to delete this tile by selecting it, add the staircase tile, make sure to even it out, rotate it, and now we just need to add it to the map game object and then recompile the map. As you can see, it instantly updated. So let's test it out again. Our map is now finished. However, if you walk off the barricade over here, uh, then you will be flying over the void. We don't want that. So we're going to add some walls. I'll speed up the process. Now we're just going to set the material to gold. Now, after that's finished, we don't actually want a box collider, as that's going to interfere with anything. However, if it's outside of the map, such as like this, then we won't actually need it to recompile the map as the box compilers will be using that for us. However, we actually want it to be integrated with the map geometry. So we're going to be leaving that inside the map, but we have to delete the box collider. Now, just recompile the map. And as you can see, uh, the geometry for the barricades are down here. Let's test it out. And that is how to make a simple map in Pokemon Unity, at least for the master branch. In the future, the beta branch will be completely revamping how the maps are created. However, it will be a similar process, but this will allow you to create a pathway such as water. or generate footstep tiles. With that said, this has been Pokemon Unity's map creation tutorial. Thanks for watching.